Don't miss these astronomy events in June 2023. This astronomy calendar of June 2023 contains dates for notable celestial events including moon phases, summer solstice, moon planet conjunctions, and other interesting events. Most of the astronomical events on this calendar month can be seen with naked eye, although some may require a good pair of binoculars or a telescope for best viewing. So let's discuss about them briefly here. On June 4th, the moon will be located on the opposite side of the Earth, as the sun and its face will be fully illuminated. June's full moon is known as the strawberry moon as the little red berries ripen at this time, and it also coincides with the peak of the strawberry harvesting season. On the same day, the planet Venus reaches greatest eastern elongation, a 45.4 degrees from the sun. This is the best time to view Venus since it will be at its highest point above the horizon in the evening sky. Look for the bright planet Venus in the western sky after sunset. The new moon will occur on June 18th. At this point, our natural satellite will stay between the Earth and the Sun so its bright side will be facing away from the Earth. It's the best time for stargazing because the moon's light won't hinder the view. On 21st June solstice, this solstice is the summer solstice in the Northern Hemisphere, where it is the longest day of the year. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's the winter solstice and the shortest day of the year. This means we have much longer days and much shorter nights, so less time for stargazing. There are still objects up there to be seen if you can wait up long enough. If you want to catch a stellar object early before you go to bed, Venus is visible in the west just after sunset for the whole month. If you have a look on the evening of the 21 June, you'll be able to see the crescent moon next to it in the sky. On 30th of June, if you happen to be up just before dawn, especially later in the month, you can easily catch Jupiter and Saturn in the eastern sky. Throughout the month, you can spot the Veil Nebula Cygnus Loop. The Veil Nebula is a large supernova remnant. The star that made it was 20 times more massive than the Sun, and astronomers estimate that it exploded about 10,000 years ago, which means it could have been observed by our ancestors. They would have seen it as a very bright point in the sky, as bright as Venus. Today, you'll need a telescope or a pair of binoculars to observe the remnant. It covers a relatively large area of the sky, around 3 degrees or 6 times the diameter of the full moon. It's so wide that people often break it down into individual nebulae to observe, like the Western Veil, Eastern Veil, and Pickering's Triangle. One way of finding it is to look for Cygnus. The brightest stars in this constellation form a cross in the sky, with the Veil Nebula at the eastern end of the cross. In the month of June, stargazers will also observe one of the most famous globular clusters in the sky, M13, or the Hercules Cluster. Bigger telescopes, for example 200mm reflectors really do it justice, but it can easily be spotted by smaller telescopes and even binoculars. If you live somewhere with basically no light pollution, you can even catch M13 with the unaided eye if the conditions are right. Dark and clear skies. As the name suggests, M13 is in the constellation of Hercules. Throughout June, Hercules will be a constellation visible in the south reaching its highest point in the sky around midnight. M13 is within the central part of the constellation known as the Keystone Asterism. M13 is actually a group of several hundred thousand stars all bound together by gravity. They were born together over 12 billion years ago and they stay together, in a clump, orbiting the galactic center. Thank you everyone for watching video on CM7 Explorer channel. Please like, comment, and share this video also support this channel by subscribing for more astronomy videos.